Talipus sequinovarus, or TEV, is commonly known as clubfoot. TEV is a bony deformity with malposition and contracture of the soft tissue of the ankle and foot. TEV is the deformity in about 95% of the cases of clubfoot and is bilateral in up to 50% of the cases. TEV includes forefoot adduction, midfoot supination, hindfoot varus, and ankle equines seen in varying degrees. Early recognition and treatment of clubfoot are of the utmost importance. Initially, treatment includes manipulation and serial casting until an overcorrection of the deformity has been achieved. The treatment stretches the contracture on the medial side of the foot. The treatment is done weekly for the first 6 to 12 weeks of the infant's life and is effective in up to 50% of cases. If these interventions are not successful, surgery is recommended. Clubfoot is generally described by the cause and the position of the foot and ankle. Congenital clubfoot is also known as idiopathic or true clubfoot. This type is seen in otherwise normal infants. Positional clubfoot is also known as transitional, mild, or postural clubfoot and is thought to be caused by intrauterine crowding. This type of clubfoot is successfully treated with mild stretching and casting. Talipus calcaneus, or dorsiflexion, is an anomaly in which the toes are higher than the heel. Talipus equinus, or plantar flexion, is an anomaly in which the toes are lower than the heel. Talipus valgus is an eversion or bending outward of the foot. Talipus varus is an inversion or bending inward of the foot. Risk factors for clubfoot include genetics, improper foot position in the uterus, and presence of a congenital syndrome associated with clubfoot. Signs and symptoms of clubfoot include an adduction and inversion of the anterior half of the foot, a concave medial border of the foot, a convex lateral border of the foot, a drawn up heel, underdeveloped calf muscles, or a small foot and atrophy of the joint capsule. Besides history and physical, diagnostic tests recommended for clubfoot are assessment and x-ray. Your nursing management of a child with clubfoot includes participating in the stretching exercises and the manipulation and care for the infant with serial casting. With serial casting, the casts are usually replaced each week for the first month and then every two weeks until the stretching is complete or until it is determined that the surgical intervention is needed. You will teach the family how to care for the child with a cast. This includes keeping the cast and the skin under the cast dry and doing regular neurovascular checks. Neurovascular checks are especially important with each new cast. To be certain the cast is correctly fitted and not too tight. The family should also do regular skin assessments and skin care for the child. You'll prepare the family for the possibility of surgery if casting and stretching is not successful. The surgery includes cutting the tight tendons and placing pins to maintain alignment and prevent recurrence. Your responsibilities will then be to collaborate with physical therapy for muscle strengthening in the affected leg or legs and for ambulation, depending on the child's age at the time. You will also provide education and support to the parents throughout the treatment period and, if necessary, the surgery and rehabilitation. You will focus on preventing complications. And what are some of the complications that can result from clubfoot or the treatment of clubfoot? Neurovascular compromise or skin breakdown from the cast, difficulty with ambulation and delayed motor development, multiple surgeries, body image disturbance, and altered parent-infant attachment.